Team coverage of our top story as we bring you new information about a man attacked by a grizzly bear just south of Big Sky late last week. First, NBC Montana's Brianna Carroll explains the latest updates from wildlife officials. That's right, the man has been identified as Rudy Norlander, according to a GoFundMe campaign organized by his daughter, Caitlin Norlander. Norlander says her father rented ATVs to two hunters Friday. He later joined them in the Yellow Mule area to help locate a deer they had shot. That's when he saw a small grizzly bear. According to his daughter, he pulled a firearm in hopes of scaring the bear away when another larger grizzly attacked. One of the hunters shot the bear, which ran off, and they were able to call for help. Norlander's daughter says he was airlifted to a Bozeman hospital, then flown to Salt Lake City, where he remains in critical but stable condition. What this appears to be was a defensive encounter. Uh, subsequent to the, uh, to the incident, um, investigators found a, a cached animal carcass nearby. Uh, so likely what this was is a bear defending a food source. Due to the presumed defensive nature of the attack, there are currently no efforts underway to locate or remove the bear. Jacobson says these types of attacks are fairly rare when taking into consideration the large number of people spending time recreating. He warns that grizzly bear populations are on the rise in Montana, and this is bear country, so people who choose to head outdoors should take precautions. People can, can add layers of safety uh, to themselves by caring and knowing how to use bear spray. Uh, traveling in groups and making noise when you're in the field, that helps uh, reduce the chances of having a surprise close encounter. Uh, managing attractants and following any food storage orders that may be in effect uh, for some of these areas. Um, and paying close attention, watching for, for sign of bears and bear activity. Montana wildlife officials are investigating the incident and the Yellow Mule area remains closed until further notice. Reporting in Bozeman, Brianna Carroll, NBC Montana.